I have a hunch that most of our code will not compile, but we'll get to that later. I want to first get this renderer worked out. Uh, our, our renderer, in order to draw anything, we need to connect with OpenGL. So we're going to do what we did with the my GL window, I believe, this hodgepodge of code. Let me go to the header file, actually. Yep, we inherited from Q GL widget. So we're going to do the same thing with our renderer. In order for our renderer to render to OpenGL, we're going to inherit publicly from Q GL widget, like so. Well. We need the pound include for that. And remember though, way back in the day, one of the earliest videos we did, we added the lib, the headers, and the DLLs for OpenGL to the sandbox game because the game's doing the rendering. But now we're pushing the rendering down to the engine. So now we need that OpenGL functionality in the engine and, and that sort of thing. So we need to set up the header files, the lib, and the DLLs. Hopefully you remember I did that 10 billion times in some of the first videos in this playlist was lib files. Or no, sorry, header files, lib, DLLs. And I have uh, a video on my playlist called uh, C++ Static Linking versus Dynamic Linking. I highly encourage you to watch that one. I think you would learn a lot from that. Anyway, we need to connect OpenGL from the engine. So the best way to do that, right-click Properties, is to cheat and use what we already set up in the Sandbox game. In the Sandbox game, in the general, for the additional include directories, we wanted Qt. We do need Qt because we're going to use Open uh, OpenGL Qt, OpenGL, whatever that is. And, and uh, we need the, the glue again, the GL ex GL uh, extension Wrangler that sets up a lot of our function pointers and stuff. And don't want to get into that right now. Uh, we don't need engine because we're putting it in an engine, and then we got the rest. So I'm going to Control C what I just highlighted there in blue. Click on the engine project. And after project dir for the engine project, I'm going to control V those exact same paths into the additional include directories for the engine. So that sets up number one, the header files. Number two is the lib. We need something to link against. So let's go to the linker, input. Uh, I want to look at the inputs for the sandbox game. Click on sandbox game. You get a window here saying, hey, you made some changes to the engine project. You want to say, yeah, I do want to save those. Additional dependencies. We need OpenGL32 lib. We need glue 32 debug version lib, Qt4 debug version, all those things. So edit. Uh, we don't need engine lib because the engine project is the engine lib. I need all these things. I'm not sure I need Qt GUI D4. And I don't want to just add it just because. I think that's, that's sloppy. I don't want to add. That's just sloppy. I know I need at least these four. So I'm going to grab those four. I think I do need the GUI, but we'll find out. I click OK on that. Uh, click Engine. I don't know why it's prompting me for changes. Click No. Uh, I'm just going to paste it right in here. Control V. Uh, why did it not? Oh, it only copied one line. Oh, what a pain. What a pain. Let's go to Sandbox Game. Input. I'm just going to grab them in here. Grab them in here. I think it's more friendly to copy and paste. Highlight all this. Uh, Control C. Engine, home key, get to the beginning of the line. Control V, got a semicolon there. I think we're good. Hit enter, click apply. Now, if I build this, do you think it'll build? Of course, it won't. Otherwise, I wouldn't be asking you. But I just for a refresher, do you remember? I just added all the libs. If I build it, is it going to build? Let me click OK. Well, of course, it's not going to build. We got other build errors. I'm not even going to attempt that now. But it won't build because it won't be able to find these files. We need to set up their additional library directories. And I'm going to cheat again by clicking on Sandbox Game. We need Qt lib. Yep. We don't need engine. Uh, we do need glue lib out there. So I'm going to control C all of that. Uh, click on engine. Control V it here. But I'm going to take the engine part. Engine. I'm going to take the engine part out. Don't need the engine part. I need Qt and I need glue. Click OK. That will solve our uh, linking problem. But then that runtime will get the hey the DLL is missing error. But I'm gonna worry about that after we get this building. We're now wrapped in to Q GL widget, and I can pound include that. Now where do I want to pound include? I want to pound include. Uh, middleware above my stuff. That's just generally my convention here. Pound include Q 
Qt, open GL, QGL widget, no auto completion because there's no dot H at the end of that file. And then we inherit from Q GL widget. Now if you remember, back in the day, long time video ago, we had my GL window, and let me scroll out here. We had Remember we got this update, if I look at update, it does kind of all the update things. Then we got this draw, then we got this paint, then we got my update. Oh, look how ugly, this smells horrible. Horrible, let's look at draw. Oh, there draw, that looks like, it looks like it's really drawing there. And then we did paint GL, what's paint GL do? Ooh, ugly, our paint GL is doing an update. Do you remember why I did that kludge? Okay, I did it on purpose knowing we'd come back and refactor it, but... But I want to remember why we did this kludge. And then what's my update all about? Oh, repaint? Ah, oh, what a headache. How am I supposed to keep all this all track in my head? The reason why we did the update in here is, remember OpenGL was painting more than it was updating? Remember the the QT GUI libraries and the single-threaded thing? I had videos on all that. It can, it, we, were, we were drawing more than we were, we were updating, so our, I think our delta times were getting messed up or something like that. Well, I don't want to kludge it again. And what I would really like is when I have my game, I'd like my game to be able to say renderer update. And so the renderer only updates when commanded to by my game. I don't want the renderer to auto update because it's a QGL widget and that sort of thing. I want my game to be in control of my game to say renderer update. So I did some research offline to figure out how to force our renderer to behave. And this is what I found. Uh, since my since the QGL widget is a GL widget, and Q or the Q <laughs> the QT GL widget is a QT widget, meaning GUI thing. It has a paint event, and the paint whenever paint is called automatically by QT, then paint will just say, "Hey, open GL, do your thing." So all we need to do is override that paint event and do nothing instead. And let me let me see if I can demonstrate that. I'm going to come in here. The paint event is, or I say event, it's really just a virtual function. But void uh, paint event. We should get some auto completion for it, but I guess not. Paint event. I'm going to override it, and I'm going to be as bold as say, uh, let's go to the compilation unit. Where textually? Oh. I'll put it right here below shutdown. Uh -huh. Renderer. I'm going to say paint event. Do nothing. All right, so we just overrode the default behavior for QGL widget. So when QGL widget, is that a capital L? That's probably why we weren't getting IntelliSense help. I had a lowercase L there. Uh, uh, basically, when the QGL widget invokes paint event, it's a virtual function which will invoke our paint event instead of the built-in one. QGL widget, and we'll say, hey, do nothing. That's fine if you want to try to render a thousand times more than I'm telling you to. I'm not going to do it. All right? Well, now we need a function where my game can say, hey, renderer, render, draw, do it. Okay, and we'll call that function from my game so we can explicitly render whenever we want to. We got initialize, shut down, add geometry, add renderable. I think the next reasonable step is void render scene like so and uh, let me control l control v that's my cheap way of copying the line go to add renderable paste it down here scope it like so and now in render scene i want to tell the qgl widget okay 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 i overrode the paint event which i'm actually going to just drag down here control shift l control shift l shift in that hotkey combination will not cut the line, thus not overwriting what I have on my clipboard. Uh, all right, so when you try to do the paint event, hey, we're not going to do anything. So sad. And then when we call render scene explicitly, hey, GL, this is a built-in function with QGL widget, GL draw, meaning go do the open GL stuff. Okay, hopefully that's not too confusing. I basically took over here. Render scene is for my game here to call explicitly on the renderer and then we'll say hey GL draw and remember when we when GL does its thing it fires off a paint GL event protected function protected virtual function 
So we, we saw that when we made the uh, my GL window way back in the day. Void paint paint GL hit enter. We're going to override this function just the same as we did in my GL window.cpp because this function is where the magic actually has to happen. So I'll put that right there and renderer. That's hard to say. Renderer. <sighs> I'm going to control shift S and save all the files. Right here is where we want to render all the renderables, which is where we'll pick up in the next video.